from uh, last year. Um, well, today we tested. Uh, we haven't really tested a great deal. It's just been a big shape down day, really. We, I've got four bikes here, which um, which I haven't rode at all this year. Two brand new 07 Yams and two of last year's bikes, um, two 06s, for, which we're going to run in Formula Extreme. So today was a bit. This morning was a bit frantic, um, just trying to build things and just finalise little bits and bobs, and um, didn't get a great deal done. But then we just did that sort of simulation 56 lap thing, and um, I just used it as testing. We, we just tried the little things, just ironing out a couple of problems. Me getting used to the bike more than anything. I haven't rode for four months, so get back into it. Uh, came down to try out, get the Super Sport and Formula Extreme bikes, uh, entered the ASRA races, got a little bit of uh, tough time with them with the rain yesterday. Um, we're working on the suspension on the boat bikes. Super Sport right now is better set up. We need, uh, Widens is a very important day for us to get the Formula Extreme bike up and running, get it set up. How's Chaz adapting to the bikes? Good. He hasn't got clear track and enough time out there to get back to where he was at the tyre test. But I think Wednesday morning he'll be right away. He should be right up the pace. Wednesday is the first day of the AMA. Yeah. Jacket. First day, and you get decent. So you form an extreme to be practiced for the 200. Will be out one hour sessions, and I think we get a lot accomplished then. And we should be ready for qualifying by Wednesday afternoon. This is a really good weekend for us to really spend some time, go through the bikes, shake them down, uh, get suspension sorted out. We have new brake systems that we're testing, uh, a lot of different compounds of brake pads. Uh, so there's a lot of work to be done this weekend uh, in preparation for the AMA stuff. Uh, the better that you can be prepared, obviously, the better result you'll have for the final events. Yamaha don't have any factory involvement in Formula Extreme, and uh, Barry said he wanted to do Formula Extreme and do the championship and with Chaz riding for them uh, Yama decided that yes this would be a good thing for us to be involved in just very slightly this is not the, 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 um, they're not a factory team but they definitely have the eye of factory on them at all times really we're just here to give them a little bit of advice and a little bit of hand they're um, they're gonna run some some of our last year's bikes with um, with some of their own equipment on it, and so uh, we're kind of here just to help them get set up. banking there's a join in the circuit there's um, like a couple of couple of joins um, which they're not you know they're not um, like completely flat and uh, what it does it upsets the bike a little bit it makes a big it was making a big kick and then it was just rebounding and it wouldn't settle down and usually <clears throat> the super bikes that are followed they are they're like constantly moving around there but I don't expect a Formula Extreme bike to, to do it. So we're just trying to iron that out, but we think the shock needs revalving, so we're just going to get that done and then um, it should settle down there. The shock that was originally in there had a 0.94 tie spring in it. That was way too stiff, so we had to pull that out, revalve the shock because there wasn't enough rebound in it uh, to suit Chaz's style. And that shock matches the one that we had here in the Daytona test, which was in uh, 0.875 and the valving characteristics of that. So we got the FX bike pretty close as far as geometry goes and as far as suspension, oil level, that kind of stuff. We've got some final tweaking to do with that, mostly in the rear shock, really not that much to do with the front. He's a 250 guy and it's all about corner speed with him. Uh, when everybody else jumps on the brakes, it looks like he's been shot out of a catapult. He just goes and carries so much corner speed. It, it's phenomenal. So um, you just try and develop the bike to, to suit his needs then. Um, 
he's definitely going to be harder on the brakes when he does apply them so the suspension has to be able to deal with that and we are we're lucky Dave's here and he's able to make, meet those demands and make the bike handle in the way you want it to handle uh, for sure you, the, the front of the bike's going to dive really hard and the suspension it has to be set up to make sure that it, it reacts in the way he wants it to react we haven't run the FX bike that we're planning on running in the 200 yet. So straight away on, t on Wednesday, I'd like to get them on that bike and uh, get some time in on that. We really need to run that motor in and, and start just refining the suspension on that. We're going to take the settings from the FX2 bike and transfer them over to the FX1 bike. So we should be in the ballpark suspension wise, uh, but we'll have to be fine tuned because every chassis is slightly different. Um, and then, you know, just get some time on the motor and, and just get them comfortable on everything and it'll just be from now on just fine tuning everything and, and just making all those little tweaks to get everything perfect. Mark has done a wonderful job. The engines are strong, they're fast. At the minute, it's just get everything so-so and then next weekend's when it counts.